Germany's turn to Norway, and the two countries are in talks over a potential hydrogen pipeline, but that's some way off. The minister, Terje Asland, is Norway's minister for petroleum and energy. He joins me now via Skype from Oslo. One thing Norway has committed to do is continue pumping at just about 100 percent of production capacity over the summer. That should help. Is that right? Yes, I hope so. But uh, let me first uh, of all, uh, I want to express my deeply concern about the situation in Ukraine and the Russian war against the Ukrainian people. Uh, and then we come to the energy situation and we will continue to produce uh, almost 100 percent, as you said. So where do you see, besides the, the obviously the increased production, which has itself difficulties because obviously the shift to green, the shift to energy alternatives is to some extent going to have to take a back seat as more, for instance, for instance, Minister, you've granted more permits for Arctic drilling for, and for, for, for new fields to be de developed. In this uh, very uh, critical situation, I think the most important thing Norway can do at the moment is to be a stable, reliable producer for oil, oil and gas. And we can be that on a long term basis. And I think that's important for a European uh, situation for the future also. When you talk about renewables, we have to do a lot of things to, to manage the, the, the energy uh, difficulties just now. Is it, with your experience in oil and gas, is it realistic for Europe to wean itself off or, uh, Russian oil and gas, which is a fundamental part of the energy infrastructure? I hope uh, I hope uh, Europe get less uh, dependent on the Russian gas and oil, and I think uh, Norway can play a uh, important uh, cooperator with the Un uh, European in that uh, matter, and we we will continue to to contribute with uh, export oil and gas in the future, but we can also build a lot of renewables uh, opportunity. We have a lot of uh, space in the ocean, we can be in, building up uh, floating uh, onshore, now offshore uh, uh, wind parks and uh, big, uh, make a bigger uh, advance at that. Right. I, the, finally, so the, it, it feels like the warnings were, I won't say ignored, but they weren't heeded. That even since 2014 and Crimea, people have been warned, even as Nord Stream 2 was put together. In your discussions with EU ministers and commissioners and national governments, do you feel a new reality? Yes, of course, I feel the reality. And I, and, uh, I am uh, certain that uh, the European leaders also do that. And then I think we in Norway, we can be a reliable uh, exporter of uh, oil and gas and we can build a stronger cooperation about the uh, new re re renewables uh, uh, energy sources in the future. And I think the situation in Ukraine explained very clearly that we have to stay together, find solution together. Europe is uh, have the same uh, the, the same challenge. So we have to work together on the energy crisis and uh, to get energy stability uh, over time. Minister, very grateful you talked to us tonight. Thank